You seem like such a fun mom. I see you have fun <laughs> with your babies. <laughs> How kids. do you keep your kids entertained? How do I? Um, well, right now in my household, well, we got really desperate in the pandemic, like everyone else did, right? Yes. And um, and so I bought like a dinosaur no. suit, a blow up one. <laughs> and his, yeah, there he is. <laughs> I love me. this. So this is Rex. I love this. Rexy is um, very popular in our house. I dance. Um, and so this is how I keep my kids entertained. It's desperate times, you guys. It's desperate times. Yeah. I made sourdough, and she's like, it's incredible. I mean, they're, they're like, like, you're a medical professional, and you're a dinosaur. It's like, <laughs> and I'm a Muppet. You're a Muppet. I yeah. love that so much. It seems like your kids have so much fun. They do, yeah. They're crazy, but they have a lot of fun. Oh We're going to make her come in on set and I'll do, do it. it. You, will, you probably would do that, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, why not? And then you could pull out your Sesame Street <laughs> background on it. <laughs> and then y'all could bring all the babies and y'all could have lunch. Yeah. children. I'm a mom too, so that sounds like yeah. some fun stuff. Okay, now let's get into Grey's Anatomy. So this is the 20th season. I know, it's yeah. Incredible. Can you believe like how far <laughs> it's come? 400 episodes. That's a lot. What is it like to be an inspiration, a role model to women in the medical field to show we can be bosses and have a space in the medical field? One of the things that has been so satisfying for all of us is I think with such a long running show, it's so, it's so rare. It's kind of, I think the first time this has really happened that you're seeing women go from being like an intern and like an ingenue mm -hmm. and then you actually get to see them in real time like coming into their power Yes. And becoming masters of their field mm -hmm. and becoming mentors to the next generation right. of kind of young interns who are learning. And so you're really seeing the whole arc of a woman's life in a way that I don't think we've seen before yeah. in television. And you see that they're multifaceted. You see that they're really great at their jobs, super intelligent, having relationships, juggling children, juggling friendships. And I, I think it's also just a great... It's a great way that women are portrayed, not just as sort of a side, but right. very much in, in, in their best lives. Which is necessary and it's so powerful. Yeah. Do you have a lot of women coming up to you that's a fan of the show that says, you, you know, you inspired them, you know, and they walked into that type yeah, of thing? Yeah, I think we've all had the experience where people, we've heard of people that got into the medical industry as women mm -hmm. because of the show and feeling like they saw themselves represented on the show. So that's really incredible. Especially because yeah. it's been on, so they, they were watching it when they were, you know, applying to school, right. and now they're yeah. doctors, which is yeah. incredible. It's an incredible journey of the 20 years. Yeah. And I do think it's actually moving the needle in terms of what we understand about medicine. You're having so many young people who started watching Grey's Anatomy, and then we're like, oh, I can be a woman surgeon. Exactly. And they're getting involved in medicine, and suddenly they're, for the first time, studying women's bodies in mm -hmm. medical science. Like, yes, never we need that. that more yeah. of that, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? And we're having, we're having some awareness of, like, fetal uh, maternal mortality in America. Mm -hmm. And some of that has to be because we have actually people in positions of power in the medical field who are women, who are women. and who are having these experiences. And studying women. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. I have to ask this, because you, you, you play doctors and you do surgeries in there, and I know there's prep work. So what was it like going to your first surgery? Oh, a real life? For, okay, yeah, so like I don't know if you part. guys, people know this, but Shonda sometimes has us, before we start, the show, before we start ever filming, go to a real life surgery. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was gonna be like, you know, like a paper cut, or like a re bunion <laughs> removal, like nothing, no big deal. And I showed up and they had me scrub into triple heart bypass surgery. Same with you. I had, yeah, open you heart surgery. Scrubbed. Open heart, I I mean, I didn't I didn't. <laughs> She's like, you scrubbed in? Well, I didn't operate, but I was like, I thought I'd be in the gallery, like in the show, how we watched. No, I was by the guy's head. Me too. Yes, like, why? why? There's like a little Inches. step stool. They're like, yes. step on up. You're Inches like, from okay. like an open heart. <laughs> I hadn't even started the show yet. <laughs> Oh it's it's intense, yeah. I was I was okay. It was until, the same for you. Yeah, I, yeah. Same for Shonda sent me, same, and I was same. like, oh, that's great. I play a cardiothoracic surgeon. I'm going to see an open heart surgery, and I'm going to be great. And I stepped in it. First of all, I did absolutely freezing in yeah. there, freezing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'm not going to start complaining because it's gold. <laughs> they're the like, <laughs> they're like, step up, Kim. I'm like, step up. And there's like a little step, and I step up, and I'm above the patient's yeah. head. And it is open heart no. surgery. Yes. I was doing yes. fine until they do the cautery, which is where you can smell the flesh. The flesh burning. But I didn't, I was like, this is like a moment of a lifetime. And I just sort of said, um, yeah. 
I think I'm just gonna stand against the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I had this crazy hot, like it got so hot for me and I thought I was gonna black out. So I literally just leaned against the wall for a second. Everyone's like, are you okay? I'm like, yep, I'm good. I'm yeah. just like, just don't faint. That makes me nervous just hearing it's it. It's like, yeah. yeah, can you imagine being the one to faint in an open heart surgery yeah. into the patient? It'd be oh, terrible. Don't do that. No, that, that would, would be, be, oh that would be terrible. Oh my goodness. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.